Hello guys, this is Aman from Gyanthan. I am one of the founding members here. Today in this video, we are going to talk about why NBFC charge higher rate of interest as compared to banks. I think I am the right person to talk about this because Gyanthan's subsidiary, Gyanthan Financial Services Private Limited, is an NBFC. We run an NBFC which do loans from studying abroad to study in India, from studying in offline coaching centers in Kota to doing online upskilling courses anywhere in India. So Gyanthan is an NBFC which do end-to-end -end education loan and make it seamless for you. So let's talk about the topic why NBFC charge higher rate of interest as compared to banks. There are four primary reasons for that and we'll talk about them one by one. So the first reason is the cost of funds for the NBFC. So unlike banks, NBFC raise their capital from either the private investors or the bank themselves. Whereas banks, they raise their capital. The primary source of their capital comes from the customers like you and me. So you and me can have a savings bank account in State Bank of India. When we deposit our amount as an FD in State Bank of India, how much do we get? So that is the cost of capital for State Bank of India. Whereas an NBFC, when they take money, either they are taking it from private investors or from the bank itself, the cost of capital is higher. So that is one of the major difference because the money that they are getting is at the higher rate of interest and thus that difference in the interest of cost of borrowing between them and the banks is the automatically add up interest rate that customer has to pay. So that is the first reason. Now let's talk about the second reason. Usually NBFCs come up with the innovative product. They want to tap the untapped market. They want to understand the problems of untapped market and thus they try to come up with product that is more risky for them. So as the simple rule of finance, more the risk, higher the interest that you need to charge so that at the end of it, they can balance each other them out. So that's another reason why the NBFC charge higher rate of interest than banks. Let's talk about third reason. Now, one of the major difference between bank and NBFC is that NBFCs have better processes, better turnaround time, better overall experience for the customer. They are able to give that kind of experience to the customer because they have invested a lot in their processes, in their overall customer journey. And thus, they have to charge a premium for the same because they have invested money to ensure that you have excellent experience of getting the money. And thus, they are giving you higher interest rates. Well, let's talk about the fourth reason. So, NBFC is always on the lookout for raising more money. They can raise more money when they can go to the private investors or the bank and say that okay hey you give me the money i will not only give you better return on capital but i will ensure that the risk is less so primarily because their investors expect them to get a better return out of them otherwise they can invest their money in fds or other less risky investment portfolios thus as the nbfcs are expected to give higher return on capital to their investment, they tend to charge a premium for that as well. So these are the four primary reasons why NBFC charge higher rate of interest as compared to bank. If you think I have missed out any particular point, let me know by putting it in the comments below. Thanks a lot.